Here is a Japanese abacus, also known as the soroban. Now, a soroban usually has got four beads at the bottom here. Can you see? And these four beads here are also known as the earth beads. And the top, one top beads here are also known as the heaven beads. Now, first of all, before we start, I'm going to show you how to clear the soroban. So, there are two ways. First of all, use your left hand, lift it up and put it down gently and use your index. Now rest it above the middle bar here and then slide it across. When nothing touches the bar here, it is a position zero or we are not counting yet. And the other way of clearing the soroban is to use a pinching motion. So pinch your finger like that and place it on the middle bar there and then slide it across. Okay, and to start counting what we do we will need to pick one of the rod with the dot. There are five on mine, so I usually pick the middle one. So that's the one in the middle with the dot. Now, the rod with the dot usually tells you that will be the unit rod. So, and each of the beads at the bottom has got a value of one. So if I'm adding one, I use my thumb and I push one bit up because each bit has got a value of one. And then take away is use your index. If I need to add two, I count one, two, and clear two. Add three, basically push three bits up, clear three. Add four, push four bits up, one, two, three, four, and clear four. Now to add five, it is on the heaven bit. So this heaven bit has got five of the ones. So it's got a value of five. So to add five, use your index, and then clear five. To add six, start counting from the five. Five, six, clear six. To add seven, start counting from the five. Five, six, seven. Add eight, five, six, seven, eight. And take away eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take away nine. Now, some of your book will have an instruction of uh, Soroban practice. For example, it asks you to add one and take away one all the way to nine. So this is what you need to do. Add one, take away one. Add two, take away two. Add three, take away three. Add four, take away four. Add five, take away five. Remember five only use the um, adding and taking away on five. Only uses the uh, index finger. Six. Take away six, seven, take away seven, at eight, take away eight, at nine, take away nine. And then ten is one rod to the left. Ten. Each of these beads now has got a value of ten. So adding one bead of ten is ten. And then adding two beads of ten will be twenty. And then that at another one will be thirty. At another ten bead will be forty. And that top bead will have the value of fifty there. Fifty and then 60, and then 70, and then 80, and then 90. So, and sometimes you'll be asked to add once all the way to a particular number. So this is what you do, or we call it a counting one, to whatever, to nine, for example. So one, add another one, add another one, and then add another one. Now remember, from four, to get to five, there is one magic invisible bead, so this is what you do. Rest your index finger on the heaven bead, and then rest your thumb on the top of the earth bead and push down. So I'll do it again. So for example, you're counting to four, you want to count five. This is what you need to do. Add five, take away four. And then add one again to make six, add one again to make seven, add one to make eight, add one to make nine. From nine, you want to add one again, another invisible bead, which is clear nine at ten. Okay, then go back to add one. Ten at one, eleven. Ten at two, twelve. Ten at three is thirteen. Ten. Thirteen at one is fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Clear nine at ten. And then add one again. Clear nine at ten. And I will stop at 30, for example. 